We talk about the topics on everybody's mind. No, we don't. You <laughs> don't have them on your mind. Keep up. Ready and go. <laughs> My, my, my notes were moving. Welcome back, folks. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Ronald. And this is the Ron's World. And I want to thank all our great subscribers out there for all your support. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so down below. At the Ron's World, we talk about the topics that nobody cares about, but everybody has an opinion on them. And today we are talking about Christmas, and specifically, when is the right time to start decorating? Ronald, what do you think? We should be decorating all year round. Christmas is a holiday, sure. Christmas is a season, yeah, I give you that. But Christmas is more than that. Christmas is a lifestyle. It's happiness throughout the year. Santa doesn't take a vacation. Why should you with your decorations? Keep them up all year. Well, I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> that Ronald is crazy. <laughs> oh, bah humbug, Mr. Scrooge. Tell me what you think about Christmas. I don't think it's a lifestyle. I think Christmas is a holiday. And I think to be respectful to all the other holidays out there, you only decorate for Christmas right after Thanksgiving, all the way up until the day after Christmas. That is your time when you can decorate for Christmas because let's face it, other holidays have feelings too. Okay, many of you have already watched our shows and we know Respectful and Ronnie, they just don't go together. So let's talk about the real topic here. Christmas, the decorations, they're just beautiful. They make your home feel warm and inviting. All those lights and the silvers and greens and neutral colors and the bright reds and yeah, look at Ronnie's sweater, it's beautiful, isn't it? He can wear that any day of the year, it would fit perfectly. You managed to get all of the palettes and contradict yourself <laughs> three times while explaining it, which is typical for those of you that have seen. Our Ronnie audience do this. understands Ronnie may not be able to understand. <laughs> so I think that what's really funny is when you think about, I don't know, going through your neighborhood and you see that neighbor that has the Christmas lights up on their house all year, you think to yourself, wow. That is one lazy individual that didn't go up and take the time to take their lights down. And nobody thinks to themselves, wow, they're so festive. Look at them. They left all their Christmas decorations in their front yard for the entire year. What great neighbors I have. I can't believe you said that. So now Santa Claus is lazy. That man works all year round to make sure Christmas is wonderful for all those children around the world. And now you're saying that somebody who D decides to celebrate Santa and work alongside him throughout the entire year is somehow lazy, Ronnie, bah humbug to you. Well, I don't want to be the one to break this to you because I would have thought somebody did, I don't know, maybe 40 years ago, but <laughs> Santa isn't real. You know what I don't like about Christmas? Eggnog. You know why I don't like eggnog? Because when I was seven, I had just gotten this awesome new sweater. Not like this sweater, awesome sweater. And I was so excited because it was a ski sweater and I was super into skiing. And my mom had just poured me some eggnog and I had put my sweater on, I was super pumped. And I was drinking the eggnog and eggnog is really thick. And this big clump came out and went all over my new sweater. And ever since then, I can't stand eggnog. So you receive a gift and uh, right after you open it, maybe the paper's not even off yet, and the first words out of your mouth is, where's the receipt? We have to look to, I don't know, retailers and companies to help kind of lead us down this path. And if you know, the tree companies that put the live trees out do it right around Thanksgiving. And the reason that they do it is they only live for 30 days. They don't want you to have them up all year because you'll have a dead tree for 11 months of the year. But should we be cutting down trees for this short period of time during the year? Number one, it's not environmentally friendly. It's not, it's not right for the poor tree and all the tree friends and tree family members. Let's talk about the environment since you seem to be so concerned about it from cutting down all these trees. Let's talk about the lights and how much power it takes to light up the lights around your house and the tree and all the different decorations that you have. How much is that gonna cost? How much pollution is that gonna cause? Right after Thanksgiving, you go get your tree. It's when you start this beautiful decorating process. Okay, this is coming from a man who has a fake tree that we're decorating the day after Thanksgiving in his home, okay? He's talking about these live trees and everything. He's just making an argument to try to prove a point that he's already lost. There are towns around the world that are dedicated to Christmas. 
In fact, I think folks should plan their vacations around these Christmas are, towns. Are, are, yeah, are we referring to the North Pole? Yes. Like, is that where we're talking about Christmas? There's year North around? Pole, Alaska, actually. <laughs> there's Santa Claus, Indiana. How about Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? All these places are built around Christmas. Christmas is about happiness and warmth and sharing and family members and gifts and all the wonderful things in life. So why not make it the entire year through? Why have to shorten it down to a month and a half to some arbitrary dates? It really, it really ruins the spirit. Ronnie, don't ruin the Christmas spirit. Have you ever heard of the 12 days of Christmas? Here's a little book, you know, that has things that happen. You've got turtle doves and all sorts of things that come out. They don't talk about the 365 <laughs> days of Christmas. They talk about the 12 days of Christmas. Okay, 12 days of Christmas. Let's just talk about that. Okay, you, you know the countdown when the ball drops for New Year's and all that kind of stuff? Same thing. It's just the countdown. So December 26th is the start and then it goes throughout the year. 12 days comes around, it's the countdown. And then December 25th is really the culmination, the celebration. Things take a while, and Christmas takes all 365 days to really celebrate it. The thing I love the most about Christmas and why I believe we should celebrate um, holidays, or at least the feeling of holidays all year round, is the togetherness. I think the holidays um, force families to spend uh, spend more quality time together. Christmas is that time of year where even the most grumpy and angry people, they find a way to be happy. Because, I mean, let's face it, who can't help themselves but to hum along to Jingle Bells? Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in one horse horse open sleigh. I know all of you out there have strong opinions about Christmas, just like Ronnie and I. We want to hear from you. Are you like Ronnie, where it's day after Thanksgiving, day after Christmas, or should you fill your home with Christmas the whole year through? Let us know. Leave those comments down below. I'm Ronald. And I'm Ronnie. And this is the Ron's World. Dashing through the snow on a one-horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha, bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing.